so grateful that I'm able to do something that I really, really do enjoy. YouTube has been a thing of, like, I've been a part of me for so long, for the greater part of, like, a decade, and I love YouTube. I love watching YouTube. I watch YouTube more than TV. I watch YouTube so much. Like, some people say maybe it's an unhealthy habit, but I love watching YouTube. And I am so happy that I'm able to make YouTube videos for people like you, people who love ASMR, people who just love wanting, who love just kind of like watching videos and stuff like that, who just need something to unwind to. And I'm really happy I'm one of those YouTubers that you guys really enjoy. So, if you guys remember from my most recent video, one of my most recent videos, where I did a, like, Monterey, like, haul video, where I just kind of did a shopping haul video, I had you guys ask me some questions. I know I was going um, to po also post to, like, YouTube community and the Instagram, but I've been really busy, too, so I didn't really get any time to, but for the next Q&A, I definitely will. So, I asked you guys to send me some questions, and you guys sent me a lot of questions, and I probably won't get to every single question today, but there will definitely be a part two. So, if you guys want to ask me questions now for a future Q&A video, you can do that as well. So, I have all the questions pulled up here on my laptop, and let me... My laptop needs charging, so I'm just gonna leave it on the charger as well. Alright, so I'm gonna do the first person that left a comment because they were the first person in the comment, so I'm gonna answer their questions. So, this, um, the person, alright, so the first questions are from the person named Webtoe Hobbit9227, and they asked, Who is your favorite ASMR YouTuber? Slash, and the second question is, who is your favorite Disney princess? Alright, well, so, I would say my favorite ASMR YouTuber has to be ASMR the Chew. I've talked about this long, like, for like, um, like, as long as I've had been doing ASMR, that ASMR the Chew was kind of my inspiration for doing ASMR in the first place. Like, I love ASMR the Chew. She is an amazing person, and I get a lot of my inspiration of, to, from ASMR to her because I feel like her ASMR is very personal, and you feel a really good connection with her. And, like, a lot of people have told me, like, oh, your, like, videos remind me of, like, being on FaceTime with, like, a best friend, and, like, that's what I felt like for ASMR the Chew. was like, oh, I'm just talking to, like, a nice, like, auntie of mine or something like that. Oh! Uh, that's where I get like a lot of my inspiration from from ASMR is um from ASMR the Chew so I would say her ASMR is my favorite ASMR like of all time but she's my favorite ASMR creator in this space and my favorite Disney princess now I love a lot of the Disney princesses but I would say my favorite Disney princess of all time has to be Tiana Tiana is like one of my favorite and I just love how like She's, like, one of the only, like, few that, like, kind of came from, like, um, poverty. She wasn't, like, um, already royalty at the beginning. Like, oh, like, there was, like, yeah, like, Cinderella and different, like, ones like that. But I love Tiana. And, um, I, like, love Tiana's, like, I love the movie. I love her message. And you cannot beat that soundtrack. I think Princess in the Bronx is like one of my favorite soundtracks of all time and I'm so excited for that um, like Princess in the Frog is really being pushed a lot more and we're potentially getting a new series of Princess in the Frog and I'm so excited for the new ride. I know it's like pretty controversial but I do really love how much Tiana has been pushed more and more and I just love it. I love Tiana so much and I would say she is definitely my favorite Disney princess. Alright, so now let's answer one, another question. Alright, this one comes from um, ASMR Alexi and she asked, what are your top three favorite snacks? Alright, so I like, 
I would say like my top three favorite snacks. I feel like I'm gonna do this in like a not like like not like ranking order, but just more like oh where am I gonna put the top three snacks? Like obviously. So I think my first one would have to be popcorn. I love popcorn. Popcorn is just such an easy snack to make. It is so delicious. What I like to do, we've been doing this a lot more. We've had this like air pop popcorn machine for a long time for the best part of a decade and it's silver and it's strong and I like we've been popping popcorn bags but the popcorn bags we've been getting have been sucking so bad so like I burnt two different ones just just like because they don't pop right and things like that and um so I've been um, popping my own kernels using our air pop popcorn machine and I love putting like the seasonings on there like we have white cheddar seasoning for popcorn I like using tahin and um or we get this like cheddar cheese seasoning from Trader Joe's that one's really good too or I'll put like valentina on it it's just a really delicious versatile snack and it's like one of my favorite things to eat and I think my other favorite snack I would have to eat is, I think, like, just, um, chips. But, like, I think my favorite chips would have to be the queso ruffles. Now, these are kind of like a Mexican ruffles. These are so good. They're not, like, regular cheese. They're kind of like a spicy, like, a zesty cheese ruffle. And it's so good. And it's so good. I think, like, a second chip to that would be, like, the, um, the Mexican, like, cheese, like, Cheetos that I think, like, just like toasted like spicy cheese cheetos like the mexican ones and those ones are so good and let me another snack i'll like give like a candy um um i would say like my favorite candy it would be like i think skittles like sour skittles are like one of my favorite candies of all time and it's they're like so good i love them so much and um it like is one of my favorite snacks so i would say those three snacks would probably be like my favorites. Alright, next question I have is from Paulina Jamie at 5327. And she asks, where do you get your plushies or where do you buy your plushies? Um, so like if you guys like notice, like I'll move my camera a little bit. I have a lot of plushies and um I get my plushies from a lot of different places. Like Maybe I'll do like a plushie collection like video, but a lot of my plushies either like I buy them myself or like um, I get them gifts like a lot of my Squishmallows I've gotten as gifts um, or I've gotten them myself like my blue dinosaur that I have I've gotten that one myself and if you can see that um, Mario banana I got that one from David Busters so I get my prizes from like my plushies from like winning them from Crane Games or Arcades or I buy them or I get them as gifts so maybe I'll do like a plushie collection video I'll have to like split it up but like I have a lot of plushies and I would love to like show you guys where like I get a lot of my plushies but yeah so a lot of my plushies I like buy them from so many different places like I would say a lot of my plushies I've gotten from different arcades and or like gifts and things like that like so yeah so like I get my plushies from a whole lot of different places there really isn't like one like place that I get a lot of my plushies from so yeah so I hope that answers your question all right so this question is from um, Joanne 8919 and she gave me a lot of questions. Um, so her comment said, where are you from? Um, how old are you? Favorite TV show slash anime or are you interested in skincare? What's your routine? And she commented, you're such a like old person. I love listening and chatting like we're on FaceTime. So like that's like some of the comments that people tell me like, oh yeah, like it's like I'm like FaceTiming a friend and I'm just like, I love those comments so much. And I don't want to give like too much personal information, but I will say I am from the Central Valley of California. Um, I like, do I love living here? Maybe, but um, I, I live in the Central Valley area of California 
and I am 23 and when this video comes out I will be 24 years old I a lot of people like I was telling me but we're like oh it's my birthday tomorrow and they're like oh my god how old are you and I'm like oh I'm turning 24 and they're like no way I thought you were like 18 19 I was like well thank you but I am not that young anymore even though 24 is literally so young but it's just like being on the internet a lot is like it makes me feel like 24 is like geriatric at this point but yeah, so my favorite TV show slash anime, um, I've been wanting to do like a video like talking about my favorite TV shows and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do a video about that, but I will say like, so my favorite TV shows have to be like RuPaul's Drag Race, um, Abbott Elementary, what are some other ones that I do really like, um, those are two that I really do love right now, but maybe I'll do like a full video like a lot of you guys like really loved it when I talked about like my favorite restaurants and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do another like top five or like top or like my favorite restaurant or like favorite TV shows and stuff like that. But then like anime, my favorite favorite anime of all time, if you guys have good tell from my background, Sailor Moon is my favorite anime. I just think like Magical Girl anim animes have kind of like really um really touched my effeminate boy heart when I was a kid so I loved magical like magical girl animes and things like that and Sailor Moon has to be like one of my favorites all right and are you interested in skincare like what's your routine so I have really been into skincare since like the pandemic like obviously a lot of people have been like really into skincare like really blow up during the pandemic when everyone's like inside their house and I have been wanting to do like an updated skincare routine like I've done a couple skincare routines video and I have really evolved with my skincare and I do really kind of want to show you guys because I think I figure out kind of like a good routine so I'll tell you guys that kind of the big basic routine but maybe I'll do I'll save that for another video so I love so like my routine right now for like the morning time I'll like I won't cleanse but I'll like um I'll do like a serum and then I'll like moisturize and then I'll do like a toner um serum slash essence like I'll moisturize and I'll put it on like an SPF and then for my um nighttime routine I'll do like a cleanser I'll do a toner I'll do an essence and I'll do a moisturizer I won't SPF at nighttime even though some people have said like oh you need SPF at nighttime too but I won't do an SPF at nighttime so it's kind of like different but I'll show you guys like in another video like oh what like what my skincare is but like yeah I've been like really into skincare like I really do like how my skin's turning out even though like I have a lot of acne because this is literally like I feel like a lot of skincare people have like really showed like oh you have to have like such clear skin but like um acne care and like skincare is like a journey and like like I could do I could be doing more with my skin but I do really like how my skincare routine is kind of turning out right now like I'm like kind of glowy even though maybe it's just for my moisturizer but yeah so yeah I'm totally like really into skincare all right so let me see let me see like a couple other questions and then let me see boo, 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 boo. all right this one's like pretty easy so this one is from just jesse asmr and she asks what's your favorite season question mark heart with love your channel i must say thank you so much i'm really happy you really enjoyed my channel and i would say my favorite season has definitely got to be winter yes i love winter i hate like heat and summer is like i'm not i don't like summer at all because i hate heat i am i wilt and i get really hot really easily like if you're in california today you'll know like it got really hot today for being in spring but then it's gonna get colder but yeah so i would say winter and like spring a lot of allergies fall a lot of allergies i like winter because it's cold no allergies and i just kind of i can enjoy my cool weather and i get to wear my puppy jacket like my puppy if well fur jacket which i love all right so yeah so that is like that is that question let's see um and then um Alright, so this one is really interesting. So this one is from Potato Buffett and they said, Are you part of the LGBTQ plus community? What's your really what's your celebrity crush and dream car? If you could switch places with anyone, who would you choose? Alright, for the first question, for any family members watching, you probably have already can 
guess, but I would say yes, I am part of the LGBTQ community, and if anyone has any objection to that, you can totally leave, but, um, I guess this is not a channel for any hate or discrimination of any kind, so you can kindly, bye bye, but, so, yes, I would say I am a, um, I am a pan sexual non-binary person i go by all um, pronouns and things like that um i don't really care about how i present my gender i like kind of present myself i people say like oh what's your gender identity i would just say me i like to kind of present myself i kind of like i don't like yes people think like oh you'd like dress in like more boy clothes i'm like i just wear what i like to wear like i don't really care but yeah so yes um, I am with the LGBTQ community. Um, I like just mm. kind of love to present myself in whatever way I want to, whether that's wearing makeup, like wearing like fun clothes, wearing jewelry, and different things like that, painting my nails. I just kind of do me, and if anyone has any objection to that, so who cares? Like, I don't really care. So yeah, so now on to that. Next question, what's your celebrity crush? I don't think I have a celeb, I'm not really, like I've never really had any crushes growing up, but what like maybe I'll switch it up be like, who's your like a celebrity idol? And I would say one of my celebrity idols has to be Melissa McCarthy. So Melissa McCarthy is one of the funniest people I've ever like watched in my whole life. And, um, I loved a lot of her movies, like, Tammy is, like, one of my favorite movies of all time, and it, she's so funny, and, like, if, if I ever could be, like, at, like, 1% of her talent, I would love it, like, she's so funny, she is just, like, she's one of my, like, most favorite celebrities of all time, I just love her so much, and, yeah. I just love her so much. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her so much. And then Dream Car. Dream Car. I actually want one of those Volkswagen, like, hippie, like, vans. Like, if you watch the movie Cars, you'll know, like, that, like, hippie dude. I want, like, one of those cars to, like, turn it into, like, a living space. Like, if I ever, like, am never able to, like, get an apartment or, like, live somewhere, I want to, like, turn one of those cars into, like, like a traveling home, like a mobile home type of deal. So yeah, and then also, if you would switch places with anyone, who would you choose? I would want to switch places with either Melissa McCarthy or Megan Thee Stallion because I love both of them so much. And I would totally love to like see what their lives are like. All right, let's see. Maybe I have time for one more set of questions. All right, let's do this one. This one is from Dandelion5660, and they asked me for a question. So this one is, what is your least favorite makeup trend? What is your go-to fast food order? What's your favorite book, and which fictional character do you most identify with? Let's answer the first question. My least favorite makeup trend. I think it's just kind of the clean girl makeup type of deal. Like, I started loving makeup in the era, like, close, like, in, like, 2018. And so I was, like, close either in the middle or close to the end of the era of, like, the crazy, like, crazy, like, makeup. Like, cut creases, matte skin, and different things like that. So I, like loved all those makeup trends and like we had so much variety in the type of makeup like we had so many varieties in lipsticks and different ways of expressing your makeup and stuff like that but now with the clean girl makeup I feel like like I feel like that makeup is for people who don't have clear skin who have like clear skin who like just make it so like like oh like how like perfect I am and I don't even have to wear any makeup and it's just like I love crazy creative big bold makeup even if that's just like 2016 2018 makeup and I've been seeing that it has been coming back and I am so happy for that 
so yeah i think my least favorite makeup trend has kind of just been this like looking girl makeup trend like if it works for you i support your decision wholeheartedly but for me i love like crazy blush crazy amounts of eyeshadow and eyeliner and lips fun lips and stuff like that and i feel like we kind of lost that with the transition to like clean girl makeup like the, um, the variety of lipsticks is like kind of been dwindling it's just a lot of like matte like neutrals and like pinks and stuff like that not a lot of like fun purples blues greens things like that so yeah so i let me see my go-to fast food order like i have a lot of places maybe i'll do like my favorite fast food places because i've been wanting to do that but i'll tell you one so let me tell you my talk about order because like one, that's one of my favorite like uh one of my favorite um fast food places like it's kind of evolved as i've grown up grown up and i would say my fast food order we're talking about right now is two cheesy bean and rice burritos a crunchy taco or cheesy fiesta potatoes and then i would get a baja blast or maybe i'll just get all four cheesy fiesta potatoes and the taco i used to not get both but then and then i get like a breeze Mountain Dew, preferably the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Freeze. I love those freezes. So yeah. Um, and then favorite book. I would say my favorite book, like, I I think my favorite book has to be the Poisoner's Handbook because I'm just so interested, like, in not like a really weird way, but I'm really interested in how like poisons and different chemicals worked and like reading the boys in his handbook i like kind of like learn like what types of like chemicals from like old and from the olden days like really had effects on people's bodies because like the fda and like all those like um like really harsh regulations were really around back then so i learned like things like the radium girls or or like like lead makeup lead like lead like lead um and gas or like learning up i also love learning about like how like toxic makeup was and just learning about it was so interesting and the poisoner's handbook is like a really interesting book that like i had to read for a class and i just i loved it i've only read it once but i remember it and it kind of really stuck with me for a long time and then what fictional character do i resonate with that's kind of a tough one but I would say I'm a mixture of um, Gregory and um, Gregory and Janine from Abbott Elementary um, because like Gregory he's like very like particular about what he wants and like his food and different things like that like a lot of people have like kind of autism coded him and then like also Janine for like being like kind of trying to be overly positive and things like that like a lot of like Abbott Element the characters in Abbott Elementary I like really resonate with and like that's why I kind of like I love that TV show because I kind of like can like resonate with a lot of their personalities in that show so yeah so that is all the questions that I have I will definitely use the, use the unused questions for another Q&A video but this video has already been kind of long enough so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for all the early birthday wishes I am really happy that you guys have been really supportive you guys let me be able to do this like one last time just thank you guys so much for 1500 subscribers and I'm able to like make my own money off of this not a lot to like I can quit my job but like I'm happy that you guys really enjoy these videos and I will definitely 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 keep on making these as long as you guys keep loving them so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow both my makeup and regular ASMR Instagrams down the below. Do without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you guys have a nice and safe day. Bye.